In activity 2.09, I'll demonstrate how to create a new query from an existing query. In the previous lesson, we created last name, first name, 2A instructors query. Let me widen the navigation pane so you can see the whole name. So double click that. That opens the query. And now let's go to the backstage view, file, save object as. Here's our file name, prepended with copy of, so delete copy of. And go after the S in instructors, underbar, capital I, capital D, lowercase s, and we'll create an instructors IDs query. Next, return to the home tab, and as you can see, let's widen the navigation pane. Here is the new query, and it's open in the object pane. Right click, design view. Now I'll demonstrate how to move a column. The first name I'll put after the last name. So the way you do this, watch my cursor, you slide it down slowly until it turns to a black down arrow. You click and release, but don't move the arrow. Now click and hold the left mouse button. You see a black bar. Move it to the after the last name and release and that's how you move a column. So first name now comes after last name. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with department and move it before rank. So we'll slowly come down till we get the black down arrow. Click and release. Don't move the arrow. Click and hold and move the black bar left before rank. Lastly, let's add the instructor ID. Click and drag it. Place it right on top of department and notice that it inserts the instructor ID column or field and pushes all of the other fields to the right. And now click run and you can see that instructor ID is included, department comes before rank, first name comes after last name. Now let's print the query by going to backstage, selecting print, Print preview. If we're happy with it, then we can go ahead and print it. We'll send it to our cute PDF writer. We'll accept that name, save, close print preview, and then close the query, save the changes. And that's the end of this lesson.